Oh, we already lost it. Man, this thing's fast. Welcome to part two of the Cars and Cameras throwback series. In the last episode, we came back to the OG Cars and Cameras headquarters and we got this old uh, Chinese pit bike powered go-kart running and riding again after Ike bought it for just $250. Well, in today's episode, we're gonna be tripling the horsepower by swapping on a high output, high compression, high RPM, 140cc semi-auto four-speed engine. In the last episode, we did some fake wheelies. In this episode, we want to do some real wheelies. Charles was the fastest around the OG Cars and Cameras Grand Prix in stock 110cc form with a scorching 45 second lap. We're going to throw this 140 on here and uh, see how much faster it gets. But first, we got to see if this thing is even going to fit. So the 140 may only be 30 cc's more than what's on there, but it's much higher RPM, it's higher compression, it's just much higher performance in general. When you swap one of these onto a Trail 70, uh, you get a top speed of around 65 miles an hour. And this thing's got fourth gear, where that only has three gears. Exactly. It also has, it's got yeah, four. Yeah, it does, it does. But well, it's, it's got a backwards. reverse yeah. gear, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, John, there are some differences between this motor and that motor. Like, that one has a place cut out for the chain to pass by so we might have to tilt this engine up higher or or something to get the chain to pass by the case in the right place he's talking about right right here yeah it's like the chain almost goes forward and uh, this is like notched out yeah. so if you look on that one there's like a plate and like a block off yeah to keep to keep Deborah out of the, I guess, well, I don't know what you would call this, the rec, rec, uh, regulator, rectifier regulator? Well, the, something. No, not the, re, it's, it's the charging system. Charging and, system. And, and, uh, and the pickup for the ignition and stuff. Okay. So we're getting started pulling this engine off. And what a lot of people don't realize with these pit bike style engines, there are a couple of differences in this uh, scenario. Of course, the direction of the chain and the starter location. But usually, like, if you have a pit bike that started with a 70cc, you can throw a 140 on there and it will, like, like bolt in. Everything will plug right in generally, too. So it's worth looking into if you have an old pit bike, a 50 or a 70 or a 110. You can upgrade to a 140, 150, 190, or the 212 that makes, like, 24 horsepower. They're rowdy and a lot of fun. So we're going to keep pulling this thing down, and hopefully that other one... We're gonna figure out what to do with the chain. Oh wow, that just broke. Oh no. Oh no, that's a twig. That's not even a cotter pin. Oh my god. <laughs> was that one was in there? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. He I just grabbed the it twig on the ground, off the ground. And I thought Oof. it was part of a broken cotter pin. That's hilarious. That's really good. Just so we don't lose our hardware. there. Yeah, I've got I've got a pile started up over here. Got a wood screw holding the electrical box in. I like it. So I'm now just loosening one of the two engine mounts that's the same on all of these pit bike style engines. So it's not the engine mounts we're worried about here. It's the size of the jug, the starter location, and the way the chain spits out. But we can make it work. That would probably be, oh, got an extension on. Yeah, perfect. Are we gonna have to take this rear rack off to get the engine out? No, I think we can, uh, oh, okay. Take one of the shocks out? I'm, I, yeah, take that shock. I don't know how to get this thing out. We might have to take the rack off. Cool. Yeah. Nice. This thing's ready to come out. All right, I'm going to, going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the engine a little bit, and maybe you can pull that bolt out. I'll give it a shot. There you go. Look at that. All right, coming down. I think if it comes out your way, that's the... Oh, that air filter. And I'll try to get that chain off. Yeah. What was that air filter? It's going to hit. I don't want it to, I don't want it. That's the only air filter we got. Okay. Oh, it's so close, boys. There it is. You got it? Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You might have to turn it sideways. And... Oh, 
Oh, Charles, I think you might have it, man. You got to turn sideways, man. There you there go. You go. Oh, 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 Charles oh, 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 thank you. There you go. Yeah. All right, now Boys. that came out. The 140 other might be wider, yep. Yeah. yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to just stick this thing on in there? Yeah, see what happens. <laughs> So there's our new engine. We switched over the sprocket. There was a 14 on the old engine and a 15 on the new one. We just threw the 14 on there uh, to help the chain clear. Oh my goodness. If you can get it in there, man. Nice. Wow. It's a lot smaller without the carburetor right, neck got, on there and that, stuff. We got that uh, bolt. I just don't uh, want to mess up that thread. Hammer this in that direction. That, that's that was it. I think that's it. That's <sighs> it. That was it. Nice. So, question is, can we get the chain on there? So, this is what we're talking about with the issue with the chain and the case. The other case has a window, or, or, or you know, this piece right here is cut out, allowing the chain a straight shot. This one is rubbing. So, what we're going to do is we are going to take one link why is it tight right now we could always just let it self clear that's a lot of self clearing boys it'll be fine the case is the tension that is so oh God. so I, we could take one link out of this which here i'm going to pull up on the yeah. engine yeah go ahead charles you pu push on this chain okay. and yep We'll show you that the higher the engine goes, the more go clearance ahead. we have. More clearance we have. So the higher the engine goes, yeah, the better off we are. So we're going to just take out one link, and we might have to cut these ears and move them down for the yeah. tensioning. Just kidding. We're going to just let her eat. <laughs> I mean, you know, the correct thing to do is to uh, do what I said, but, uh, it's going to just self-clear, and it'll be fine. Yeah, I like what Charles said. It's our chain tensioner. It, yeah, it's our chain guide. It's oh our my. chain guide. A wearable chain. Yeah. It's okay. It'll be fine. We're just going to call it a wear item. It's okay. It'll, well, be, it's, it'll be fine. It's going to smooth out my case, and uh, it, it'll, it, I don't think it'll hurt anything. If it does, we're all going to find out. I guess we're going to use these scotch locks, and we're just going to put them on here. This is this is not the way to do it, by the way. Charles, what do you call those things again? Uh, I call them don't use. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't use on a car. Yeah. Well, but, it's a good thing it's not a car. But yeah, that's right. It's they're a good perfectly car. fine to use if you're troubleshooting and stuff. I'm not knocking them, but when I <laughs> when I would work on customers' cars that are like dailies, daily drivers, and they got those under the hood, it's kind of scary. So all we have to do is squeeze this and then close this and then it's connected. On. It's connected. That's right. Not recommended at all, but we're kind of working with a bubble here. Just risk of fire, no waterproofness. Not running, coming apart, corrosion later on, people making fun of us. You can put heat shrink To our it. faces, people making fun to us of us behind our backs, keyboard warriors world ending yeah. getting the carburetor and the intake manifold put together we're going to see if it's going to fit because there's not much room and this is definitely a bigger carburetor certainly oh, man this is like buying a new car you can pull the seal you can off pull the plastic off kind of glad that was there that prevented us from dropping any debris in there Sorry, had the wrong hardware. Don't want something too long and poke a hole where it doesn't need to be. So this is the part we're not sure about. You see how close the top of that carburetor is to the, the frame there, and, and that rear suspension pivots, so it's gonna get closer to that uh, rack. So we are going to check and see if the engine is going to crank over. We don't have a chain, and uh, it's not really bolted up. 
But we're just going to see if it's going to crank over. I wouldn't even turn the fuel on. I just want to hear no, it. No, yeah. Crank. Just, uh, okay. Here we go. Here, let me press the brake for you. You can hear it clicking. Okay. You got, man, brake lights are going on and off. So we got everything hooked up and we don't seem to have any, any spark. So it's not running. Uh, luckily for me, I had a wiring harness that I was gonna put on my Z50 right here. And I didn't put it on the Z50 because it was just, it was too much. I mean, I didn't want an ignition switch on the Z50. I didn't want a lot of this stuff. So it looks like it's gonna work for us right here, right now, which is awesome. So I'm gonna try to get rid of some of these things and we're gonna plug things in and see if we got spark now. Yep, we got spark. It was a strong one too. Nice. nice. All right. All right. I'm glad I didn't feel any shock. <laughs> Not this time, but you can unhook. <clears throat> all right, so all we gotta do is hook that up permanently. These, these, the stuff. And yeah. then ground that. And ground that to the, uh, somewhere on the frame. Absolutely. I and might, uh, might ground. do some routing. You could, you could route. Uh, I just remove this old well, coil. We could, we could just probably remove the old harness all the stuff in that box and shove this whole harness in that box. So nothing on the original harness really works anyway, so we're just completely stripping it. And I'm sure we can use it for yeah, another I mean, project someday. Some of these relays and that starter oh, yeah, stuff, you know, that, 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 that might be good. I might put that on dirt hog. I think we're pretty much ready, guys. Yeah, I think so too. Sweet, don't look at that wiring too close. It's better than what was on there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and we got one more form of uh, starting. We have electric start and we have kick start. Awesome. We'll do this. Ba, ba, ba. Hey. Fired right up. Are you on the gas? I'll let go. That's off. That's good? That's you like off. that idle? I think that's good. Okay. But that's what the choke on, right? No, that's choke off. Oh, even better. Yeah. Okay. Air choke. All right, choke's off. All right, I'm going. Hey, it went into gear? Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of, there's enough air coming out of that. Good. Oh, we already lost it. Well, those tires have no yeah, there's nothing on those tires. Oh, oh boy. So we need to uh, check on it. So it looks like we had an issue with the shift linkage. It's not shifting right. Perhaps the- uh, Hold on a second, let me check something. That's the uh, shifter didn't get installed right. That could be a uh, first gear right there. Is it fixed? I don't know. We didn't do nothing to it. I'll give it a shot.
really quick. It's pretty fast. You ready to time it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm ready. So it's time to run the OG Cars and Cameras Grand Prix with the 140. I'm gonna put the stock 110 cc time up on the screen here. Ike's up first, then Charles, then me. We're gonna see how much faster it is. All right, you ready? Yeah. On your mark, get set, go! Speed right there. Having fun? Oh yeah, this thing's a hoot. It dude. looks like it, man. It looks great. Ready, Mark? Yes, sir. Go. He getting sideways, bud. That tree was kind of close, wasn't it? He was letting her hang out, buddy. I let her hang out on that one turn. <laughs> because I, I stayed in second until there. Come on, baby! Woo! I think he beat me. I know John beat me. There's, I, he looked way faster than me. That was fun. I think you beat us both. I don't know, man. This is a little, it was hairy. All right, guys. So I wrote down the times on the board. Me and Charles don't know what we yeah, ran. We walked over here backwards. Yeah. So oh, that boy. thing was fast. I will say that I'm not the slowest one. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Cool. Oh, no. I think <laughs> I am. I just want to say driving impressions. If you're thinking about doing a big engine on one of those uh, Chinese, like pit bike style go karts like this one is that uh, the steering does not feel good at high speed. It feels like it needs more caster in it. Personally, yeah. it gets really squirrely at high speed. The steering radius is also really bad, so there's just, you can't counter steer very much. Other than that, rocket ship, scary fast, yeah. just what we wanted. So, exactly. are we ready to turn around and look at the times? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of scared. Okay. Oh, man. 35.85. Uh, nice. You are flying. That is 11 seconds faster than I, Snow. Nice. I know. That is so much faster. That is crazy fast. There's it was, some more in it, too. Oh, I know. You beat me by a hundredth of a second. Oh, Isn't I that beat, awesome? I beat yeah. you by 0.12. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations, yeah, John. Job, you are, Thank you. You are yeah, like yeah, exactly yeah. two seconds faster I mean, than me. It's his track. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, sweet, man. Yeah. Thing's fun. I love this thing. I love it too, man. Yeah, I think we ought to keep the uh, uh, the the pit bike style engine on it. I agree. But I think we ought to re install a reverse. I think it needs box. reverse. Yeah. 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 That'd be a good good Busco Beach uh, trail rig. Yeah, with like, some tires. Put first. some bigger tires on it. Yeah. So uh, it may not wheelie, but we could try. It definitely drifts. So let's finish out the episode with some big old, nice, beautiful drinks.
That's called the cars and cameras break-in procedure. That's right. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.